from the BC Light Heavyweight Weight Class at 175 to take on Alexander Potsik. Before that, it'll be Carlos Adamas defending his WBC Middleweight Championship of the World against the 2012 United States Olympian, the contender from Cleveland, Ohio, Terrell Gachet. And to begin the night, it'll be for the interim WBC Super Lightweight Championship of the World as Gary Antoine Russell undefeated all his wins by way of knockout. He has the 100% knockout percentage. They'll go head to head against the undefeated Alberto Cuello. But before we go live on pay-per-view at 8 Eastern by Pacific time, we have three outstanding prelim box that come your way for seeing the pay-per-view 5.30 Eastern, 2.30 Pacific time. I mentioned tickets are available via gateaccess.com. The event promoted by GPT Promotions along with Man Down Promotions, Samson Boxing, and TGP Promotions. The event sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook, The Crown is yours, and also Ed Mexicano brand products bringing authentic support to your table. Somos Ed Mexicano. Now, Saturday night's event is being promoted by TGP Promotions, and it gives me the great honor and pleasure to introduce a man who knows the sport of boxing probably better than most of the population on planet Earth, certainly destined for the Hall of Fame, and has been a part of some legendary fight nights. BBC was actually born here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena back in March of 2015. Please welcome the president of TGP Promotions, Mr. Tom Brown. It's great to be back here in Las Vegas to promote another Tank Davis event on Prime Video pay-per-view. And that's what it is for Tank Fights. It's bigger than just another championship fight night. It's an event. It's back like the old days here at the MGM on a Tyson event. That's, that's what Tank brings to this. And he'll be defending his WBA World Lightweight title once again against another undefeated challenger and Frank Martin, the WBA's number two ranked contender. You know, it's very exciting to, to be part of this 100 fight celebration here with the MGM. With this car, it's just going to be electric in there with the atmosphere. There's been so many great fights here at the MGM. Some of my experiences real quickly, being here in 1994 with Big George Foreman at 45 years of age. Knocked out Michael Moore to win back that heavyweight title. And then as Ray said, about 10 years ago, a little less than 10 years ago, when the Premier Boxing Champion franchise debuted here in March of 2015. You know, it's just, there's something about this building when these fighters come out of, that, out of their locker rooms or walk down that hallway, they turn in that corner and go down through that tunnel. It's like gladiators entering an arena. And this is just one fight you, you just can't miss. There's going to be electricity in there on Saturday nights, so and we're looking forward to seeing everyone. Thank you. Mr. Tom Brown, ladies and gentlemen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me the great honor and pleasure to introduce a famed boxing promoter. This man has been a part of blockbuster event after blockbuster event, a dear friend of mine, and, and a man who always puts it so eloquently when he comes to describing prize fighting. One of my favorite sayings that he says is there are levels to this game, and lo and behold, here we are at the MGM Grand Garden Arena yet again. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the esteemed Mr. Leonard Ellaby. Thank you, Ray. Um, I'd like to thank the MGM, Premier Boxing Champions, and Amazon Prime. Saturday night. Can't get here fast enough. Two things that kind of stand out to me over the last week or so um, that's been said. One is coming from Frank Martin's promoter, Earl Spence Jr. He says that Tank Davis is going to get dominated for 12 rounds. Dominated. Earl will be that dumb shit. I can promise you that. And then Frank Martin says, oh, I'm going to beat Tank's ass. Okay, I expect, I expect him to, he's in tremendous shape. We know Derek got him in great shape because Derek's a phenomenal trainer. But let's be real, let's be real. Good for starters. In, in 2017, do you know what Tank was doing? Tank became world champion. You know what Frank Martin was doing? He wasn't even professional yet. Okay? So one thing about this boxing shit, you can't skip steps. It's something we call experience. 
And you gain that over a period of time by fighting the top fighters and doing your thing. Again, I can't say enough about what I personally think that Frank's a good fighter. But there's a difference between good and being special. This man to my right, he's special. Everything that Frank Martin does good, Tank does better. And come Saturday night, don't blink, because this shit can be over early. Leonard Ellerby certainly bringing the fire, saying it's going, so I'm going to paraphrase Leonard, it's going to be over early. My goodness, so good. A prediction from Leonard Ellerby. All right, now let's meet the other promoter from Mandon Promotions. This man has been a part of Frank Martin's career for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a man who's the former welterweight champion of the world, the 2012 United States Olympian. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Errol the True Spencer Jr. I'm happy to be here. You're kind of laughing. You know, I can't stop him there, but he can talk. You know, it's just about how you can't do. But come Saturday night, I guarantee you, Frank gonna put on a great show and a great performance. He's ready for this moment. He's been ready for this moment for a long time. And Tank gave him an opportunity. So come Saturday night, I guarantee you, he's gonna put on a great show and a great performance and show everybody why he is the best 135 pounder in the world, and the new WA Westway champion of the world, Frank Martin. We don't need your Father's Day gift, Daddy Martin, on Saturday night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we heard from Errol Spence Jr., and, and I'm looking forward to talking with both our main event combats in a few short moments. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to go ahead and bring up one of the esteemed trainers for the uh, challenger, the lead trainer of the challenger. This man has been in the corner of many world champions and is certainly an astute mind in the sport of boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Derek James. Well, I'm not here, I'm not gonna talk a lot, but what I'll say is I like that Tom Brown says challenger. Everybody says challenger. But the thing about boxing is we'll come in and challenge him, and 1,000% will be the champion. See you on Saturday night. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so you heard Derek James proclaiming that Frank Martin will leave as the champion on Saturday night at the MGM Grand Garden Arena as BBC Pay Per View on Prime Video. Also, want to acknowledge the uh, Frank Martin Sr., uh, Frank Martin's father as well, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Frank Martin Sr. Great to see you, Frank Martin Sr. Also on the champion side, I want to acknowledge one of the co-trainers, Kenny Ellis, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give a round of applause for Kenny Ellis, who is in the gym and does great work. And speaking of great work, this man has been, you know, certainly he embodies what it is to be involved in boxing in the Baltimore, Washington, D.C. area. He has been with this man 29 times, 29 times, they've come out victorious with 27 knockouts. Certainly now getting his flowers as he deserves because he is just a brilliant mind in the sport of boxing, knows how to make adjustments. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the trainer of Gervonta Tank Davis. Here is Mr. Calvin Ford. I need that button push. 
I need you to push his butt. Because I haven't seen it yet. I know what's under this hood. And they ain't been pushed yet. Everybody on the East Coast know that it's a button. It's a button to be pushed. You know what I'm saying? You can only take him so far. You can only take him so far. Mark, I see that like baby. Please push them buttons. Hey? Oh yeah. Please. I got you. I need you know why? I'm, I'm trying. It's, it's not personal with you. You're just in the way. You squeeze to the grass. You're where you're supposed to be because you're Lord that you need me. But guess what? You're here for a reason. And that's the night you must show the world what Tank Davis really is. Thank you. All right, greatly appreciate Calvin Ford. Now let's meet one half of our main event. It is PBC pay-per-view on Prime Video. This will come in Saturday night, as Calvin mentioned, the 100 championship fight at the MGM Grand Guard Arena. The first fight was going back to that. January 29th, 1994, Julio Cesar Chavez against Frankie Randall. The surgeon defeated Chavez, handing him the first loss of his career. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring up a man who has a record of 18 wins, opposite no defeats, 12 wins coming by way of Naga training out of Dallas, Texas, under the guidance of Derek James. Undefeated lightweight contender coming off of wins over Jackson Marinez, Ramiro Duno, also Arto Artunian. He is an undefeated lightweight contender promoted by Errol Spence Jr.'s Man Down Promotions. I will tell you a quick story about this man. I remember when he made his national television debut back on April 20th, 2021, when he knocked out Jerry Perez by outstanding seventh round knockout. And his trajectory has been going upwards ever since. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Detroit, Michigan, the undefeated lightweight contender. Here is Frank the Ghost Martin. What's up, everybody, man? I appreciate everybody coming out. Hey, I appreciate everybody coming out to support the fight. You know what I mean? June 15th, it's going down. You know what I mean? We here. You know, like I said once before, I appreciate Tank giving me his opportunity to come whoop his ass, come June 15th. It's on, you know what I mean? He ain't, he ain't been on nobody like me. I'm coming different, you know what I'm saying? Kyle, when you say, uh, push them buttons, I'm gonna push every button that he got on his ass. Every one. You know, so, don't get to y'all. Come out and expect a good fight. You know what I mean? Let's get it. All right, we got Fred the Ghost Martin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring up, when it comes to this man, he made his debut here back at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Tank, I don't even know if you, I mean, you've done so many events, but I don't know if you remember this. It goes back to September 12, 2015. You made your debut here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena, knocking out Recky Dulay. That is how much, how long you've been fighting and campaigning and showcasing your talent here at this iconic venue that is the MGM Grand Garden Arena. When it comes to this man, there are three E's that I like to categorize the champion. One, he's electrifying, because that's what he does arenas around the world. He's exciting. And when you see him main event with his walkout, I'm looking forward to your walkout, because I know it's going to be special. Inside the ring, it's going to be a battle between two outstanding fighters, but also exhilarating, exciting, electrifying, and exhilarating. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 29-0, 27 knockouts, the five-time three division world champion from Baltimore, Maryland, and the most recently stopped Ryan Garcia in the super fight in April of last year, the reigning, defending, WBA lightweight champion of the world, here is Gervonta Davis. What's up? I just want to thank everybody for coming out, you know, uh, the media, uh, uh, the MGM for holding this fight, uh, my personal team, uh, Al Heyman, you know, uh, Amazon Prime, uh, just everybody that played a, a big a big factor. Uh, I 
against them too. But uh, this, you know, come out this Saturday is gonna be a great fight, a uh, great undercard. Um, don't get no popcorn, don't get no juice, don't get nothing. Just make sure y'all locked in, cause. I'm gonna be locked in. I've been locked in for you know over some time now. So I just wanted to come out and give a a great performance. That's my give back to you know the uh, the fans and everybody that played a part of this event. So um, I see y'all Saturday night. Thank y'all. Javante back and forth. Uh, you know what have you guys been saying to one another over the the past few moments? He was shaking, so you're seeing him move a little bit? You think he's yeah, a little bit apprehensive? Talking a little tough yesterday when I didn't come to the, uh, the robbery, but they, he's shaking up there talking, but I know that. Frank, how do you want him to respond to that? I'm scared. I'm so scared. It's going to show. Don't worry about it. It's going to show. I'm, I'm so sure. I know. Yeah, yeah front run. Yeah. yeah, that's front right. Run. That's right. Tank, do you think your experience, because you have been main event team, pay-per-view after pay-per-view, all over the United States, and you're really making some, some huge gauge pay-per-views, et cetera, et cetera, that your experience is going to play a factor in this fight? Of course. Hell. Of course. Of course. Hell. Of course. Don't worry about it. This is Saturday. <laughs> it ain't with him yet. I'm telling you. It's going to hit him, though. It ain't going to hit him. It's definitely, especially good. when I, when I touch you. It's definitely, good, it's definitely when I touch you. And you gonna get touched too. So what do you if saying? you can, if you can touch, me. what about and, and if you can touch me, bro? <laughs> yeah. What yeah. are you bringing to the table that I, I haven't you're seen? Gonna see Saturday, what, bro. Saturday. Even the little clips on the fucking uh, on the um uh what is it called that we just had love our shit. Mm -hmm. What the fuck was you doing? Hey, you know what? You know what you <laughs> You've been working. Work. You know what you've been working your ass off. Right. Let me tell you why. Right. You're going to get your ass off. Right. You ain't really got to right. see too much of you. Right. You've been grinding. Right. You know right. what time exactly. it is. Because you exactly. know what time it is. That's why you've been working your ass off. I work hard every time, though. Okay. Stupid. Okay. They don't know I work hard in the gym right. and I watch them. They, hey, what you watch for about a year? Don't know that. You been watching me about a year. You been watching me about a year. Yeah, I haven't been watching for okay. a year. All right. All right. You're not good enough for me to watch okay. for a year. Okay. That's why I haven't been seen like that. You've been grinding. You've been working your ass off. Yeah, work the workout, work this shit was all cut up around here. Yeah, this shit was all cut up around here. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you don't worry about it. Don't yeah. worry about we it. Got, you know. We got a couple days. We got like three days, bro. Yeah. Three yeah. days. And we, and we in yeah. there. Take, take that sponsored jury on. Hey, hey, we in there. Take that sponsored jury on. That's, That's cool. cool. Shit like yours. That's cool. <laughs> Frank. It is, Javante is headlined all over on pay-per-view many times over again. And he's done it here in Las Vegas as well on some massive fight nights. It's always a fighter's dream to be main event team in Las Vegas, specifically at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. When you go up and down the strip here in Las Vegas, when you walk in to the MGM Grand and you see your face and you see that you are on the poster, that you are the main event alongside Javante Davis, that you can become a world champion. What does Saturday night mean to Frank Martin? For real, I feel like the artists, all the me being on the images and all that, you know, it's a blessing to be there, but it ain't hitting me, you know what I mean? Like it ain't, it won't hit me until I get the win. You know, like, I feel like I, I don't work, so I'm supposed to be there. You know, so it's not like, oh, I'm there, I'm so happy. You know, no, I gotta get this win. And then after that, you know, then I feel like all of it uh, hit me like, damn, I know everything I done worked for, you know, it's here now. He worried about not getting knocked out. That's all he worried about. I, I promise you, that's all he worried about is not getting knocked out. Yeah. That's all he worried about. Yeah. Yeah. He ain't worried about no damn win. Uh -huh. He worried about not getting knocked out. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Frank, it's clear that Gervonta <laughs> has poly as a 93% knockout percentage. As you're going through preparations with Derek James, your trainer, your father's by your side as well, how do you prepare for someone that has the concussive knockout power like Javante Davis? I mean, we just be, we, we just gotta, I just gotta be who I am. You know, I gotta go in there and fight my fight, you know what I mean, be comfortable, you know what I mean? And, and you know, he had he no got good power, he got power, he got he power. He had no good spawn partners. No, it don't matter. His spawn partner was ass. He got power, but that ain't, you know, 
This small part of his ass completely ass. Take away that power. This small part of was completely ass. Very tiny one. Ass. Yeah. And you spawned the MMA guy in last spawn. You went and got some of the best. You went and got some of the best. That's so stupid. You hear me? That's so stupid. You did everything. Everything you feel that you did right, you, you did. You got some of the best spawn. You've been working your ass off about a year. You, you on point, brother. Javante, what kind of challenges does Frank Martin bring to the table for you on Saturday night? His fake feet movement that he do the same way. He do the same thing. Caught it out. Regular. Mediocre. Mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> so when he it comes. When it comes to the opponents that you fought, uh, where where do you rank him, or is it still too early to tell? Will you be able to give that assessment uh, yeah. after? Yeah, to be honest, I got with you again. Again, you're 29 and 0, 30 and 0 is you know you look at milestones in careers. Uh, does 30 and 0? How much does that mean to you? Or is it just like another day at the office? Yeah, just a stepping stone. To be honest, to uh, it's not. I can't judge myself to. Till my career over, it still was an open book. Well, I know that you guys had a, a, a sparring session, and, and I know that was talked about during the opening press conference, but for those that don't know, I'm going to start with Frank, and then I'll go over to you, Javante, because there are two sides to the story. But Frank, can you go ahead and, and describe what happened during that sparring session? He came in, playing, thinking shit was sweet, got clipped. Grab, you, that's another thing. You're not gonna clip me. What are you bro, talking about? I didn't clip you. No, you did not. You called me with a good shot. That's it. That happened in my. You so never clipped me. I never shook none of that. So what are you talking about? Shook the fucking room. You don't even hit that hard. You don't even hit that hard, bro. You don't even hit that hard. You don't even hit that hard. You don't even hit that hard, bro. What did you do? And you wanna split? I can see all. What did you do? I'm gonna split them open. I promise you. I promise you. Yeah, you got it. I promise you. I'm gonna break you up. I'm gonna break you up. I'm telling you. Every time I tell y'all something, you know what? Don't act. Don't it happen? I'm telling you, I'm gonna break you up. I promise you, I'm gonna break you up. Y'all know what's up. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Show me Saturday. Show me Saturday on Twitter. Show me Saturday. Break that fake heart. Show me Saturday. Tre Trevante, if you wanted, what, what was your interpretation of the, of the sparring that you had? He said he clipped you. He ain't clipped shit. He only got that much power to clip so, nothing. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bum ass nigga. God. My bad. I'm just... Trevante, where do you feel? Has he gotten under your skin? Or is it just. Uh, it is. When, you, when you fake that, when you fake talk. Uh, uh, Hey, uh, that be you doing all that big ass stuff. Shut up. Stuff, tough action. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the glass. I ain't got you. I ain't got a fake. Just like you said, that land shit. Oh, you from the suburbs. I don't know. Yeah, you from the suburbs. Fucking suburbs. Clown. You from the fucking suburbs. You sound like a fucking bozo. Talking about I'm from the front. Look at how you talking. You got a little fun though. Clown. Derek. Derek James, the trainer of Frank Martin. Derek, you grab one of the microphones over here. But training camp, obviously, has this been the best you've ever seen, Frank? And, and with this, you know, I'm sensing some tension up here. Do you like that uh, with your fighter? Do, do you, does that motivate him? Is that fuel? Uh, you know, your thoughts on that? You know, you got a good camp. You got to be able to, I know you got a fuel for fire. You need to do that for food for fire, you know, get in the ring and prove your point. Because we obviously believe in each other and we because we wouldn't be here if we didn't believe in ourselves. So, I did believe in the situation because it's supposed to. I like that. So, you see Frank come out and do what he needs to do and be the best version of himself. What kind of performance are, are you expecting from Frank on, on Saturday? Is it just win by any means necessary or is there something that you're envisioning? Well, it's always, you know, win by any means necessary, but follow the game plan, follow the strategy, and go out there and be phenomenal. Errol, for you, thank you very much, Derek. Uh, for you, what you were the promoter of Frank Martin. You've been involved in some blockbuster championship events uh, at, on pay-per-view, but what have you been telling Frank 
in regards to preparing for this moment, fighting here in Las Vegas, being the main event. No, like, no, no, we get the chat. Shut your ass up. You talk way too much, bro. You talk way too much. Yeah. You backing up with who? Who you backing up with? <laughs> yeah, you hear it. But you don't fight nobody, bro. Okay. Okay. You don't fight nobody. You here for a check, brother. You here for a check. You here for a check. check. You here for a check. No. Y'all just here for a check. She got me fucked up. So, you Errol, you here for a check. Errol, what have you been telling Frank in preparation for this fight week? Just stay focused, stay hungry, stay dedicated. And it's all about the grind. That's what he's been doing. That's how he gets to this point. He's been focused. He's been hungry. And he's been, he listened to his game plan. He's been, he's been working, staying focused, listening to the game plan, going over his instructions. And I believe that he's going to come. How do you know that? 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 Because y'all don't be at the same place at the same time. Yeah, I know all his farm partners and I talk to him. So what you mean? <laughs> you know they ask him. <laughs> and you know it too, because you, you are the one that's spawn partners on Instagram. Like a little girl. You said what? You are the one that's spawn partners on Instagram. Yeah, like I follow him too. I follow him too. And that nigga, I need to tell you, my bad. He is ass. <laughs> he is ass. I know all his spawn partners. You know yeah, you know all of them. Dude. You search and you look for everybody. It really you search and you look for everybody. Calvin, for you. You know you're scared. Yeah. Calvin, we can yeah. Calvin Ford grab the microphone. We're seeing that that Gervonta is, you know, you say what? certainly very vocal. And you mentioned when you were bringing up, when you were talking to Frank Martin, I want him to push the button. Has the button been pushed? Nope, not yet. Wait a minute, with, with, with all the, the, the talk up here and everything, it hasn't been pushed to grab the microphone. This is tech, tech dude that does that all the time. You know, and I like it because remember when he was younger, y'all couldn't even get a word out of him. Floyd was talking too much. <laughs> Look at him. When I see this, he's pushing forward to where he's supposed to be at. Martin is here for a reason. I understand that. Derek understand that. Spence understand that. He's here for a reason. And I want him to push the buttons. Because y'all haven't seen the real tank yet. So, Calvin, what does it mean from your perspective? Because you're in the gym with him every single day. You guys put in the blood, sweat, the tears in the gym, preparing for big fight nights. 29 no, 27 knockouts. But what does that mean to see that level of tank that you're looking for? This, this, this camp is totally different. When I first put back up Texas, it was Ramadan. He looked mentally different. Humble, but humble. Everybody seen him in the team that was worrying about him. Because how he was fast. He took off his clothes and look at him, man. He reminded me when he was a deal tank that I first got this. Calvin, is there a sense of maturity that you are seeing from Tank as we've watched him evolve from being, I mean, he's been fighting at the MGM Grand for nearly nine years, but this maturation process that we're seeing out of the WBA lightweight champion of the world. Man, like I said, I want to tune into this fight because I, when I watch how he, he's moving and doing stuff, remember how Mike used to be on the floor at that fourth quarter? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> I seen, I mean, I got spawn partners and yo, and I don't even know it. It's hard to train for this man. So y'all gonna have to figure it out. I want y'all to figure it out because I'm still searching for the greatness to come out of it. Frank, when you hear Javante set up here moments ago, uh, a bit off microphone, that he wants to hurt you. Obviously that's the name of the game, but your response to those comments from the champion. You know, he come out to hurt everybody, you know. He come out to hurt everybody, so, you know, we heard that before, but, but you ain't worried about, we ain't worried about none of that. We, we, we train, we ready for whatever he got to, whatever he got to bring, we got, we got, we got, his, we got his number for sure. When, assuming things go according to plan, let's sit down, 
Frank. Well, well, let me ask him. Let me ask him. Let me ask him. Let me, let me, let me ask him. Javante, you're saying that there are things that he can't do. He, uh, Frank is saying, show me, but can you describe to us things that Frank can't do? You're mentioning, you talk with him. I mean, you don't have to give away the gate plan. Oh, you just in the microphone. He says there's really not too much he can do. Frank, in a perfect world, how satisfying would this be on Saturday night? If you were to hear and the new WBA likely champion of the world, but also be the first guy to hand Javante Davis a defeat. That's everything. You know, that's why I'm here. You know, I'm here to do just that. Get my hand raised and come out with that WBA strap. You know, and then, you know, it's a, it's a new face in the sea. You know, it's going to be me. Tank, the most animated that I saw you, or vocal, and Calvin, you can correct me if I'm wrong, was against Roly, Rolando Roly Romero. And, and, but now I'm seeing Tank, uh, you know, he's not as, but, but he's, you know, vocal. So, would you say that this is the second most passionate and emotional, not emotional, but, you know, fuel that you had heading into a fight? No, because or, tell me. I watched him on the Barrios fight. Roly, he was a double person that, you know, was, he's like, he was a double person that was energetic for the mind. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, so, you know, I just heard Martin really say some things. You get what I'm saying? You know, so, what I'm looking at, that's what we need, that's the body. You know? And I already know that they prepare. I already know that he's going to come out and do some to you. I already know of this. You get what I'm saying? I want this. I'm inviting this. You get what I'm saying? This is how I get to see where the levels of being that guy that he's going to become. And he's the guy to show the world. All right, well, now I'm going to go to the fighters for final predictions as I'm going to go ahead and start off with the, the challenger. Frank, before we get your prediction, can you give us a, a quick summarization as to what you guys have been talking about right now? Can you give us a quick summarization as to what, what are you guys saying between each other? We just talking shit. Okay. So Saturday night, June 15th, BBC pay-per-view on Prime Video. How is the fight going to go down? Your prediction, sir. If you go out, he wanted to go down, you know. Um, if, he, if he act up, like I've been saying, y'all gonna see Javon today just get knocked out. You're saying a knockout. If, if he come in and he act up, y'all gonna see him get knocked out. Period. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what power, this and that. They, they say I ain't got it. He come in and act crazy, he going to sleep. And that's, he going to sleep. Frank Martin predicting a knockout over the champion, Javante Tate Davis. Javon Tate, 29-0, 27 knockouts. Saturday night, June 15th, BBC pay-per-view on Prime Video, the 100th championship fight night at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. How is the fight going to go down, Tate? As one. As one. Time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude the press conference for Javon Tate Davis and Frank Martin. Round of applause for both fighters and their camps.